Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of building a basic membership system into your website using PHP and MySQL. Here's the files that you're going to have in the download and since we covered in part 2 we covered how to make an HTML header as opposed to the flash header that we had in member system advanced so a lot of people wanted to know how to make a HTML header for their communities or their social networks. Part 2 showed you how to do that it's going to be in this source package so you'll be able to get to every bit of the code and files and these are all the files that you'll see in the package now one thing I have to mention that's really important is this member files folder you have to create a member files folder and that's where each members folder gets placed when they join you can see inside of that folder there's the first joiners pick number one but on this member files folder you'll see my permissions are set to 0775 and inside each folder is set to 0775 as well and that will allow uploads into that folder so when you download the package all you have to do is open up each one of these files and inspect them I put code comments where I think that it would be important to have code comments within all the scripts so you'll have a very basic membership system that does not involve flash and then what you can do is take this system and expand it further by going through the the web intersect the advanced membership system that I created uh, it has about 30 parts to it the only difference between the two systems is this one has a an HTML header and another reason why I made this system is because a lot of people were having trouble with the create table and getting connected so in part two I, I basically went over all the things that were the most troublesome to people and we changed them up a little bit to make it a lot easier to understand so when people have troubles with those things they'll know why so this system will just allow you to get flash out of the mix in the header I know lots and lots of people like the flash header and they use it for their communities and their social networks but some people requested to me that they wanted an all HTML header and so that's what we have here so you see I can go to login here it is live on the server here's the login script I'm gonna log into my account that I created a little dummy account and there's my profile page now I have I have different links up here because the HTML header is sensing whether I'm logged in or not so I can view my profile I can go to my account see here's my account page where I can change my settings I go to edit information and there's an edit page so my bio says hello world so now I say goodbye world change it up you change all those things submit changes your account has been updated visitors will now see the new info click here and see it says goodbye and there you go you can edit the picture so people will be able to edit their picture and I, I left lots of code comments in there for you guys if you have any questions before you uh, ask questions rather check out the code comments because they might give a lot of insight into what's going on and I just wanted to mention real quick inside of the member account page which is the page where they edit their account right here within that page I have I don't have anything outputting on the page that shows the differences but I did put it in code to where you say if the account type from the database is A then you get options for normal user if the account type is B you get options for expert user else the account type is C so they get options for super user and all you have to do is output whatever user options you want down in the HTML there all kind of different elements, forms, whatever kind of different privileges you want to give to people according to what their user type is, their account type. Pretty much that's the only differences between this and the other system. So if you want to take this further, all you have to do is go into the next series which is the uh, Web Intersect or the Advanced Membership System tutorial series. And in that one you can get code snippets out of that to expand on this if you'd like but like I said this one was mainly to get rid of the flash header show how to do an all HTML header and also 
get rid of all those connection problems people were having and create table script and all of that stuff that's all squished so we shouldn't get too many more questions about all that stuff and that's a good thing at develop PHP we get lots of questions about people not being able to work with that flash header file lots of questions about people uh, having trouble with uh, creating the table through the script so I showed in PHP my admin how to just go in there manually make the table and in part two we fully tested connecting to the script and I explained it real in depth okay so meet me in part four if you'd like to hear about security for your membership website or your community or social network if you want to hear a couple of security tips and I'm going to mention a few things that malicious users might use to ruin your site if you give them the chance to. Okay, so we'll see you in part four. Bye-bye.